Okay, so what we are going to do right now is we are going to tie the string onto our mousetrap car. So really all you need is a piece of string to do this. The first thing that you're going to want to do is tie a loop on the end. So this is the easiest way that I've found to do it. Just fold part of the string back, okay? And then what I do is kind of, I just kind of rub it this way so that it's a little skinnier. And then what I'm going to do is just tie it like you would your shoes, right? I know it's a little hard to see while I'm doing it, but you're just going to tie it and feed this back through just like you would. Okay. And you see I have a knot there. That's, okay. I'm just going to pull this through. Make sure that I have enough of a loop on the end. Okay. And when I pull it tight, I have a little knot right there. And you'll see that I've got a loop. And what I'm going to do with that loop is it is going to go on this hook that we made so that it'll grab and it can wind up the string. Now, I want to measure the right length of the string, which technically it's going to be two times whatever the length of your lever arm is. So your lever arm goes from here to here, then you flip it back, it should be right above your axle. Uh, but just in case it's off at all, the easiest thing to do is just go from your axle and measure up to where the hook is. Um, and then what I do is I pinch it and wrap it around like this a couple of times, then that way the length is locked in. And now all I have to do is tie a couple of knots in it. Okay. So, tie a knot, and tie it again. So you could tie a couple of them, no problem. And then you're just going to cut off the excess, and it should measure straight back. Now, mine ended up being just a little bit too long. So I'll show you an easy way to solve that, is I just wrap it around another one or two times here, and then measure it back again. And, all right, maybe one more time. I'll wrap it around and look at that that's perfect and now you don't want it to be too long because when it is done unwinding you want the string to let go so that the wheels will keep spinning and your car will coast so you definitely don't want to tie it to the axle you don't want to tie it to your hook and you definitely don't want to super glue it you don't want it to get stuck when it's done pulling you want it to release and let the car keep going that's all you need to do to attach the string to your mousetrap car.